All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to another webinar by Amman Gerbeck. My name is Mo Elbana. I am a product specialist and a technical trainer at Amman Gerbeck. Let me initially start by introducing who Solvay is and uh, the relationship between Solvay and Amman Gerbeck. Uh, Solvay is a global company that was founded in uh, 1863. Um, it, it is or has been a trusted materials uh, company and a polymer supplier to the healthcare industry for decades. Solvay Dental 360 is a division of Solvay Specialty uh, Polymer USA. So how did Amman Gerbeck partnered with uh, Solvay or what is that partnership uh, uh, consist of? Uh, Amman Gerbeck is the first and only validated dental system partner of Solvay Dental 360 to enable the fabrication of metal-free partial dentures. This gives Ceramel users the exclusive opportunity uh, to consistently create partial denture designs in the digital workflow. So uh, we're going to get introduced to uh, the Altair AKP. We're going to find out what this material is. And um, just generally quick information on uh, how it works. Um, honestly, the, the entire concept of the material and how it works and what it does is, is very lengthy. So we're probably just going to get a glimpse of uh, just a few of the topics that are involved in this material. So today, like I said, we're going to barely scratch the surface on some of these topics and we'll not have time to go through all the details as these can lead to a very lengthy discussions with lots of details. So we're just gonna talk about what the uh, Altair is, some of the qualification uh, process, some of the digital workflow, and some of the finishing of the product. Altair AKP is high performance aerial ketone polymer. Uh, it's biocompatible, RPD metal free framework material. It's a residual monomer, and um, it is BPA-free. It is nickel-free, and Altair AKP is not too flexible, but yet uh, uh, not too rigid either. The 65 and over population is growing, and so is the need for RPDs. For those of you who want to offer RPDs, you can stand out from the crowd with the Altair AKP. It is technically the, the 21st century choice. These are some of the specs on the material. It's basically a customized chemistry for the dental industry. It's designed specifically for uh, removable partial frameworks. Uh, maintain the hygienic tooth supported design and um, it, it is similar similar to to bone so it will avoid the point loading and avoid bone bone loss the industry is going more and more digital so basically it is uh, gearing up towards removables and that includes partial dentures as well as full dentures of course uh, thus, the digital workflow uh, has fewer steps, which means less time. So it is, it is more time consuming and uh, you can go through the process a lot easier than sitting on the bench and trying to do it the old conventional way. So this is a picture of the same case that was fabricated in the uh, metal frame uh, concept, just like we've always been doing it. And also uh, the other picture on the left is the, the, the case got fabricated using the Altair. Uh, if you guys notice the difference in the clasp specifically, um, so it's, it's really like the clasps are shorter and thicker. So there are some design 
aspects that we have to to consider to keep this material um, successful and have successful results at the end. Um, it can't you can't design the same type of clasps where it's thin with sharp corners, obviously. And uh, in the palette, we need a little bit thicker uh, area of the material. Within this specialized industry, uh, is a powerful era of the highest performing materials, specifically uh, developed to help design engineers solve the most challenging projects. Solvay is second to none in the industry with, uh, with the uh, broadest portfolio of specifically polymer or specialty polymers and the technical specialists who develop and support them. This is why Solvay is the best in the in the best position to help uh, to help you find the right material for your innovative projects. So some of the lab qualifications uh, will consist of getting certified. So the certification is required to ensure satisfactory results. Uh, the certification process is achieved by completing an online training module. Uh, or a, a series of modules, and it will cover uh, design, it will cover CAD, it will cover the milling process, it will cover CAM, post-processing, and the final buildup as well. Uh, you can technically fit about three frames in a disk, just depending on size, but generally you can probably uh, get three out of one disk. So in the process, the efficiency of the process, there is going to be no waxing, no casting. Uh, it's going to allow for higher undercut engagement, uh, ranging from 0 0.025 to about half a millimeter uh, than the old conventional way. The clasps, like I said earlier, are shorter and thicker than typical metal clasps. Uh, it's milled out of uh, Dentevera milling, milling discs using specific designed CAM uh, milling strategy to guarantee the required quality and precision of the surfaces. So let's look at some of the advantages of, the, uh, uh, of working with high performance polymers in the dental world. Uh, it is definitely lighter, it's stronger, more comfortable, and yet it still uh, performs all the clinical functions. It is tough but durable with all the stresses uh, uh, it, it can withstand in the patient's mouth yet it maintains its critical shape and dimensions it is biocompatible like we talked or uh, like i mentioned earlier it will not cause any cause any reactions uh, since it is integrated in the digital world it can easily be in the process of the digital case planning with doctors as well as it can easily be milled at a great efficiency. However, to ensure a successful process, there are some things we want to avoid, such as the sharp corners in the design or uh, nicks and uh, scratches in the processing, because that can, can lead to uh, stress uh, concentration points which will cause cracks or um, breakage and device failure. As we can see in this picture, um, if you can see on this uh, uh, lower right corner uh, of the, the, the slide, uh, this is the uh, typical uh, clasp design on, for example, a metal clasp. Uh, if you see this sharp corner right here, we always want to try to avoid that. Um, so with the uh, uh, Altair, you want to keep everything round and smooth and thick enough as well. So the clasp th thickness of the Altair needs to be uh, at at least 1.3 millimeter or greater. And you want to ensure a, a smooth curve on the clasp minor connectors. Now, these are some of the specs that we uh, anticipate in the uh, Altair material, uh, like the tip width, for example, 
has to be one and a half to three millimeter thick. Uh, the tip thickness needs to be, uh, I'm sorry, that's uh, one and a half to three millimeter wide. The tip thickness needs to be one millimeter to one and a half millimeter thick, for example. And again, uh, looking at this diagram, looking at the right side picture, uh, you see these uh, sharp areas. We, we definitely, that's something we want to avoid. You also want to try to uh, keep everything at a smooth, uh, wide surface. Like in the Altair design, we want to try to avoid these uh, zigzag edges or thin areas. As we see on the left side uh, picture, everything is rounded and everything is uh, kind of smoother and, and uh, more transition flow. And we definitely want to avoid uh, making these uh, typical designs in, in um, the metal uh, framework designs. Now, some of the classes that are generally successful in the Altair AKP, it's class one and three for sure. Now, when, you, when you're talking about class two and four, there is always uh, going to be uh, some sort of consultation with the doctor to make sure this is going to actually work or not, uh, just due to the material. So class one and three are definitely uh, are doable. Two and four uh, definitely need case consultation. Now, this is a finished uh, case. Now, what are some of the tools that can be used on this material? Obviously, here, this is the uh, Altair on the right. And on the left is just the regular Peak. Uh, Peak tends to be slightly harder than the Altair AKP. But sometimes in the partial framework, harder doesn't necessarily mean better. Uh, we want somewhat a bit of a more flex for it to uh, work properly. So um, a polished or shined finish um, is needed and it, it works best. So basically once you finish the partial, uh, once you, uh, you know, take it out of the disc, cut it out, do the finishing that you wanna do, you can polish it and then proceed to the final, uh, uh, setting the teeth and processing that the old conventional way. That's basically a polished and fitted uh, case, uh, very precise fit and ready for the teeth buildup and processing. Now, what are the tools that, that we use on, on this material? It's just the old typical crosscut burrs, uh, polishers, uh, bristle brushes, um, nothing really very special. It's just the same, the same tools we have around the lab in general. And this is just another uh, picture of the occlusal view on that same case. Now, can this material be uh, repaired? Of course it can. The way you can repair this is, uh, let's say we have a broken clasp, as we can see right here. So you basically just clean up that area and uh, dig a little uh, ditch in the acrylic and then spray it in order for us to be able to rescan this area. So this is the uh, digital scan of what we had just done on the model. So we wanna fabricate the model, fit the partial on it, and then clean uh, the clasp area, dig the little ditch, spray it and scan it to to uh, get to this point here and then we can redesign that clasp on that model and then after redesign and and remilling of the clasp we can put these holes either manually or in the design process and uh, opaque the clasp and then just uh, uh, cure it like cure it from here on and that, that's it that's it's that simple uh, this material also can can be added onto uh, like if we want to add a tooth to an existing partial that was fabricated prior uh, absolutely we can do so so uh, we uh, get the model 
obviously from you know a, a, another impression with the extracted tooth or broken tooth. Then we prepare the partial framework site that we're trying to add a tooth to. And here's another picture. Uh, you can put just a little bit more holes uh, for retention and prepare your light cure uh, acrylic and get your tooth ready. And you pretty much just uh, uh, cure it in the pressure pot for about 20 to 30 minutes. And here is the uh, a quick view of the process. We prepare the uh, framework. We get the acrylic ready. We fit the tooth. We add it. We cure it. And then um, we uh, finish it and polish it, and it's done. It's ready to go. We could also add composite to the alt air. So let's say you have a little clasp that broke, and you don't want to go through all that. Can you just add some composite to it? Absolutely, you can. There is uh, uh, an alt air composite uh, flowable material that you can add a clasp with. And uh, just by using like a brush, you can just um, build it on and just light cure it. And uh, you can even uh, stain it as well. Just like that. And these are some of the uh, staining and glazing kits for the light cure uh, composite material that can be added on the alt air. And you just brush it, uh, brush it up with some polishing liquids or composite uh, materials after that, and um, it's pretty much done. That's it. And thank you very much for attending. That's pretty much it. A quick overview of what the Altair AKP material is.